Hey guys, Corth Camel ADV. Just going to do the intro and install video tonight for our soft luggage plates for the Yamaha T7. So if you're running rackless luggage uh, on this bike, it just drapes over the back and puts a lot of pressure on these panels. They are ABS plastic, so uh, likely if you are doing that, you've got a bunch of cracked um, plastic mounts. So in order to keep the luggage off of the plastic, uh, we've created soft bag plates, similar to other stuff on the market, uh, but it does work with our Camel Tank and our high exhaust. Uh, the other brands, you need to use longer bolts and spacers, so this is a direct bolt up um, and intended to work with, uh, with our kits. So these are 3 16 aluminum, which is about five millimeters, powder coated, uh, brackets are stainless steel that's powder coated, and yeah, the rest of the fasteners here. It is compatible with a bunch of rear cargo racks. We intentionally um, made it fit with these long spacers. These are about two inches long, um, so there's lots of room to stack in your rear cargo rack and uh, still have this all fit properly. Insulation is quite straightforward, uh, maybe take you half an hour to leisurely pace. So I take the rear mounting brackets here, they go uh, to the pillion peg mounting locations with M8 by 20 bolts. These holes are slotted, so we're gonna leave them a little bit loose um, until we get everything started. If you've got the cargo tie downs in this location, you're gonna take them out, it is a T40 bit. Take one of the countersunk washers, put the bolt through, put it through the rack, put one of the long black spacers, and just get that started. And then we're going to take the other spacer, the back one, drop it in, same thing, countersunk washer, bolt. And get that started. So we're going to take one of the M8 by 25 flathead bolts with the countersunk washer and get this started. So that's good. So everything here is slotted. This is slotted, that's slotted, the two upper mounts are slotted. So these are called speed nuts and they clip on. We want the speed nut on the right hand side bracket to be pointed to the back, otherwise it interferes with the fit here of the, uh, the brake on the bracket. So you can see it sticking up here. You wanna push that down, put your thumb on the back of it, or when you tighten this, just keep it from spinning up. And then you can come down and tighten these lower bolts. And then we're gonna go around and do the other side. If you have a camel tank on your bike, you are going to put the front bracket um, on top of the camel tank bracket. We're gonna tighten these up just enough that we can still wiggle that bracket back and forth. So same thing on the other side, we're gonna take one of the M8 by 80 uh, flathead bolts and the countersunk washer through the front mounting hole, spacer, and get that started. And same on the back. And then our M8 by 25 countersunk washer. And then we can snug the other two bolts up. And then we can tighten the two front mounting bracket bolts. Rather than running this bracket all the way in farther, tighter, we left this long spacer in here. So we have maximum uh, compatibility with different uh, rear cargo racks. So these are 52 millimeters. So if you measure the spacers, uh, or standoffs that are on your rear cargo rack. As long as they're under 52 millimeters, you'll be able to get the racks over top, uh, and then you'll need a spacer to kind of make up the difference. So quick and easy install. Annoyingly, um, this current run of plates that we have available on the website is not compatible with our Enduro Bend High Exhaust. Just a stupid miscalculation that I made. So the next round that we do, uh, we will absolutely make that change so it will be compatible. We'll put them up on the website as Gen 3. So if you do have our Enduro Bend Exhaust and wanna run the soft plates, just have a look on the site and when you see version three available, um, it absolutely will be compatible with the Enduro Bend. We've gone through a bunch of revisions on this part and we had a whole, I signed off on it, we're good. I ordered a bunch. They came in, we got them powder coated, they're ready to go. And then I was like, ah, I don't really, there's something about them I didn't really like. Um, so we do have some Gen 1 plates. They're gonna be on the website. We're gonna blow them out at less than cost. Um, I'll show you the difference between them and the current generation. So this is the first gen plate. Um, you can see the cutouts on here are a lot smaller. Uh, these are quite a bit bigger. Uh, we don't have 
this bend here that brings this section into the bike a little bit closer. So this sits out a little bit farther. And the other main change is uh, that this guy mounts about an inch and a quarter um, farther forward. So if you have big feet like me, I'm, I've got 13s. Um, and so my leg is kind of back here. And this generation was bumping into the back of my leg, into the back of my boot. And it was kind of annoying. So that's why we made the change that we did. Um, if you have smaller feet or you ride on the instep of your foot, then this is a great choice for you. If you ride on the balls of your feet um, or have bigger feet, this isn't going to be a very good option. Ironically, um, this one does work with the Enduro Bend because we don't have the, uh, the little bit of geometry in here. So it doesn't bump the front of the muffler. So we've got a bunch of these. We've got them in white, silver, and black. Uh, like I said, to throw them on the site, we're gonna blow them out at uh, less than cost. So they're gonna be $100 a pair until they're gone. So if you see the V1 option on the site, uh, they, we have stock on them, they're available. Once the V1 is gone, we don't have any more. Um, no reason to email and ask if we do. Uh, if we have them, they will be on the site. That's it, that's all. Installation is very straightforward. If you have any questions, as always, info at camel-adv.com. Thanks for watching. <laughs>